Hello, everyone. Uh, okay, so for me, always my football speaks, so I'm not good at talking. But then uh, today, I have to talk. And uh, okay, my title is How One Should Envision Success and Not Failure. So when a baby is born, the first thing that our parents and relatives do after christening is, oh, uh, what will he become in future? That's what they think. Uh, we have been taught since our childhood that life is all about settling down. You know, uh, education, go to school, go to high school, college, graduation, post-graduation, get a job, get married, have kids, earn a lot, and die peacefully. So, you know, settle down. So that is life. But, uh, like, really, is, is this what life means? Like, what about our dreams? So, like, so many of us are artists, musicians, writers, poets. Some are freestylers, like I am. So, what about our dreams? Why are we so afraid to, you know, just pursue our passion and make a living out of it? You know, make it a profession. We all try to fit in the norms set by society. And that is totally wrong, to be honest. Uh, like, we just want to, you know, gain that uh, status. And uh, it, is, it is really saddening to see that. Because there's so much more to life. Like, we can do so much more with our abilities. Like, we have so much potential. Everybody is so special. And everyone is so talented. But then we are afraid. We are just afraid. And the people who try to break these norms are often called, like, often known as mavericks, who will achieve nothing in life. But you know what? I'm, I'm such one such maverick. And uh, yeah, this actually helps a lot. One more thing that I have uh, noticed is people will always tell you, like, uh, you want to play football? Like, seriously? OK, you'll play till you are 30. What after that? You won't be able to run. W what will you do? So for them, I just want to say that, OK, fine. I'll play football till 30. After that, I won't be able to run. Fine, I can manage a team. But I'll still be playing that sport. I'll be still related to that sport. When I play football, a football game is of 90 minutes, you might be knowing. So when I play for those 90 minutes, I, I don't think about how much money I'll earn. Or you know what my future is going to be. If any father will let me marry his or her, like his daughter, because I don't have a permanent job. I don't think of all that. Because the those 90 minutes, I am so happy. The pleasure, the happiness I get is immense. Like, you can't even compare it to anything else. So what we need to do is we need to break these rules set by society. And by breaking rules, I don't mean you go and kill someone you don't like. Uh, you don't do that. But then you need to believe in yourself. You need to have patience. You need to work really hard. You need to believe in your dreams. And you, you just need to go and pursue your hobby, your passion. If you believe in yourself, you can do miracles. Like, trust me on it. I have been to places, I have traveled a lot. I have met Luis Figo, I have met Ronaldinho just because of this. So you just have to believe in yourself. One more thing, uh, the world out there, like the society is totally messed up. Everyone is confused. They don't know what they want. They just know that we have to get education, we have to get a job, we have to earn money, we have to settle down, then we have to die. But then we just forget, like life is, it's, it's just amazing. There's so much more to do in life. If we get out of our 9 to 5 job routine, we can see that life is amazing. There's so much more to observe, learn, and experience. I'm not totally against doing jobs. But then you cannot just kill the artist in you in the process, you know? And it's just amazing how and what all we can do. So you just need to find out your true passion and just go for it. After 30 to 40 years, you can't, I mean, you can't regret that, oh, I should have done that. Oh, I just, I should have done that back then. So why not do all those things which you have planned for the future right now, in this moment? You can do everything right now. 
okay, I know it sounds uh, unreal and a filmy story, but believe me, I live with this motto and I have no regrets at all. Uh, this world is full of corruption. People are busy in making money and, you know, they want to become rich and powerful. So you just don't have to be a victim of this because there is so much more to life than just earning money. Life, you know, it's not just about surviving. You have to live. You have to live. You should be free and you should have those options open to you. Like you can do anything you want. Like if I want to be a drummer, why do I have to do, do engineering for that? I really don't get it. Like if I want to play drums as a profession, no beta, you go, you do your engineering. After four years, we'll see. Baja lena. Seriously, like I'm sure most of you or many of you can, you might have faced this. Even I have gone through this. But then luckily my brother, my parents, they are supporting me right now. So all you have to do is just believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and just, you know, just go for it. So I think I've spoken enough now. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. How many of you know what freestyle football is? Oh, quite a few. Nice. So I'll be showing you a couple of skills. I hope you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, please clap. If you like it, please clap. If I drop the ball, still clap. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Guys, let the claps keep coming, man. This was crazy.